Hey guys, here's a new Blender 2.8 modeling tutorial and it is a series in which you can see me modeling an excavator that should be printable to create something similar like the boy created in this video here. The link is added to the description. So let's get started with the first part in which I create the bucket and I go to the scene tab and set the units to millimeter. As a helper I use my fast carve add-on that you can get for free and another add-on that I use is called extra objects for meshes and I use this so that I can add an object that is just a simple vertex. The snapping I set to increment and I use absolute grid snapping. Okay, then I go ahead and add the first object by using the extra objects add-on. As I said, this is just a simple vertex that is created here in the center. Then I select it, go to edit mode and move it upwards along the Z axis, then a bit to the right and now we can press the E key to extrude this vertex. Okay, then I select the measurement tool and check the size and this is 900 millimeters and I would say this is about 10 times too large. To solve this I go to the unit scale and set it to 0.1 and now the height is 9 centimeters which is alright for the bucket. Now that I have the size set I extrude the rough shape from the side view and I don't use a reference but I watched many photos of excavators before I started the project and we won't add too many details to the model. What matters most is that it is functional and we can use it as a 3D printed model in the end. Ok, now we have one side, I press F to fill it and I move it a bit to the left. Then I extrude the mesh along the X axis. Press the X button in the panel of my fast carve add-on to symmetrize it. Then I dissolve this edge and I'm quite happy with the basic shape. Ok, then let's see that we create rounded parts here at the back side. So I try to bevel these edges by pressing Ctrl and B. But I think I will undo this and just use these parts here. Ok, and now we need some parts at the top and so I will use the knife tool to cut these into the mesh. Press K and then the C key to constrain it. And so I cut out these parts that I can extrude in the next step. I switch now to face selection and extrude these faces along the Z axis. And this will be the connectors to that we will connect an arm of the excavator but I will do this in the next part. Now it's time to cut out the inner part of the bucket and to do this I just duplicate the sides. Then I press S and X to scale them along the X axis. Then I use the function bridge edge loops to connect these two parts again and increase the size by moving these faces along the Y axis. Alright, then I press the P key to turn this into a new object and this can be easily subtracted with a difference boolean operation. Ok, this is the basic shape of the bucket, it looks pretty good. Now we'll add two cylinders that will be kind of rings or connectors and I will union them with the part that we extruded here at the top. After adding the cylinder I scale it down and then I measure it. And the height is about 23 millimeters, which is quite good. Perhaps I scale it down just a little bit. Then I duplicate it and move it to position like here. Ok, it needs to be a bit larger, so I scale it up along the X axis and then move it a bit to the right. Ok, this looks great, so it's time to union this again with the main object, the bucket. Alright, now we have one object and the next thing I do is to cut holes into the cylinders. 
One way to do this with an exact measurement is to duplicate a circle at the front, then press the S key to scale it down and type 0.5 to get exactly half of the size. Then I go to edit mode and extrude this face, select it by pressing the L key, then press P to turn it into a separate object and for this we can again execute a difference operation and here is a perfect circle cut into the cylinder. Ok, and the same thing I do now for the cylinder on the left. Looks great, I press X now to symmetrize the mesh and basically that's the modeling part for the bucket. In the end I will add a bevel and the size is set to about 0.4mm. Then we can dissolve this inner edge loop and also select these two edges, remove the sharpness and press Ctrl and B to add bevels at these areas. Ok, I'm happy with the shape. The last thing that I want to do is to set the origin and I want to set it to the center of the cylinder and here I use a trick at a temporary face, select it so that it is the active one and then I set the 3D cursor to active, then I switch to object mode and set the origin to the 3D cursor and now we can move the bucket like this. Alright guys, that's it. Here I add a minor improvement, a bevel to the front in the next part we will create the arm and connect it to this bucket and as I said this model is supposed to be 3D printed. I'm diving more and more into this topic, I really hope you find this interesting. And I hope you like my channel as well, if you do then don't forget to subscribe. If you want to support me consider being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next one.